What up, best friends? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the thumbnail and by me right now, um, this is something that I'm not used to, okay? I like the little puff balls, little, little buns, but as far as the color, this is so out of my comfort zone. So, um, I was inspired by Arrogant Tay. I've been seeing him do the uh, two-tone color a lot. I've seen him do the green, I've seen him do yellow, and I've seen him do blue. So I was like, okay, I have this red wig. Let me try it and see how it looks on me. So he did this style on one of his friends or models or whatever. And it was cute. I was like, okay, let me try it. Um, as of right now, my curls have already fell. Um, I shouldn't have straightened it. I should have just curled it without straightening it, but that's whatever. Um, this is what my hair looks like. And yes, this is, like I said, it's totally different. But um, yeah, if you guys wanna see how I got my hair to look like this, then keep watching, all right? Until next time, bye best friends. Okay, you guys, so this hair is from Sealy. They sent me this hair. It's a 20 inch body wave frontal wig. It is pre-colored and pre-plugged. Um, it's a red, a vibrant red wig, like red red it ain't no burgundy to this okay so this is what the inside look like it comes with four combs and adjustable straps and the hair texture and <laughs> hi rashida my dog name is rashida i got i have two dogs if you didn't know but yeah so this is what the wig is hitting for okay so it is wash day so i got the dryer and the washer going on so if you hear that <sighs> excuse it but anyway I have this red wig. I was debating if I wanted to wear it purely red, right? Or I was like, what if we do the red roots and black hair get down like this, right? I think that would look cute. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's do it. So we're gonna do the water bucket me method because I got my bucket and I got some black hair dye. This is black velvet from Adore and I'm going to get the water running so it can get hot and we're going to dip it. I got my tripod in the kitchen today so hmm, we're going to record the whole little sh thing. Okay, so. Altogether, I used two bottles of black velvet from Adore to make sure that it was a very solid black that was on there because I did not want any of the red to peep through. So I did use two whole bottles and I watercolored the wig, okay? Honestly, it's turning burgundy. <laughs> um, I might have to go in with my hands and paint this. So in doing this, I'm just rocking the wig back and forth. I do not want the roots to be colored black and I want them to stay red, but I want it to have a nice gradient. So you'll just see me rocking the wig back, back and forth and just like tilting it and just making sure that, you know, um, it's not a harsh line of demarcation. But yeah, and after I feel like I'm finished doing that, I'm just gonna hold the wig in place so it can absorb the color a lot more because like I said, I want no red to show um, on this wig and it didn't. So that was pretty cool. And so, yeah, I just kept doing that until I got the darkness that I needed on the wig. So this is what she's looking like right now. So I just let it sit in the water and the ends turned black. I'll go ahead and wash this wig with some Garnier and deep condition it with some silicone mix. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the styling and install. So I just did like some loose beach waves, which really fell because I shouldn't have flat ironed. I flat ironed the wig before I did that. So um, if you're going to do beach wave, don't flat iron your hair because it'll look a little bit too thin and the waves will not last for long. Okay. Okay. 
Anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and clean off my hairline with 91% alcohol just to make sure that my wig adheres really good. I'm going to use Boho Lemon Burst to apply my wig. I am going to use two layers and then I am going to go in with my Boho Liquid Gold to also help apply my wig so my wig can stay in place. Once all of my adhesive is down and my lace glue is clear, I'm going to go ahead and lay my lace. Um, do not push the lace into your glue unless you are absolutely sure that's where you want your lace and your hairline to sit. Go ahead and remove the lace. Cut you some baby hairs if you want some. I'm going to curl mine because, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and curl mine because I, I always got to have some baby hairs. And I'm going to use my Even Spray to help lay the baby hairs. And that's what I'm doing right here. Once the baby hairs are laid, I'm going to take my Even Spray and spray my hairline. Um, just to make sure that it's seamless and everything like that. And then once it's uh, once it's on the hairline, I'm going to use my elastic band to uh, wrap it down. And basically, that is this video. Um, I am going to put it in the two knots like Arrogant Tay did because I thought that that was really cute. Um, yeah, so I actually really like this hairstyle. I'm, I, I want to try it again on myself with all black hair or maybe just a different color, not the two tone, but I really enjoyed the actual hairstyle. It was, it was super cute. It's really playful. You feel me? So this is what my hair looks like after I let it melt and, um, before I put it up into the two ponies. Which is cool, you know, this is really giving me like punk rock vibes. <laughs> and yeah, so like, fluff it up a little bit. You can fluff it and put some hairspray in there and it'll do what it needs to do for you. Um, but you know, I, I wanted to mimic his um, hairstyle that he did. So I'm gonna just do two messy buns and Use some rubber bands, put them in place. Use some bobby pins to um, pin the buns down. And that is basically it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial. This is definitely out of my box of normalness when it comes to hairstyles um, and colors because I myself would have never thought I would try a hairstyle like this or let alone a color like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do not forget to follow me on social media on my instagram and we're almost at 100k you guys i have a big surprise for you guys once we hit 100k when we do 100k when once i get there i'm going to do a big giveaway so yes i'm so excited it's been a long time coming i've been on youtube for forever and i'm just so happy about it oh my goodness yes okay but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time bye best friends